today's video, I will discuss the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center, April's 2022 Visa Bulletin for family-based categories, filing dates, and diversity visa lottery. So stay with me. Hello my friends, welcome back to Eda's Corner. My name is Eda. How are my Jamaican people doing? My Haitian people? My West Indian people? My South American people? North American people? Canada? UK? My European people? My African people? South Africa, West Africa, East Africa, North Africa. How are you guys doing? China? India? The Philippines? My Asian people? And if I miss you, how are you doing? Thank you for always coming back to my channel and supporting my videos. Each one of you means the world to me. On that note, have you subscribed yet? What are you waiting for? Go ahead and pause this video right now. Pause this video and smash that subscribe button. Let's get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of April. I know we could do it. To my new subscribers, thank you for subscribing and being part of this channel. If you need anything, don't be afraid to reach out to me. I know, I know, I know. I haven't been doing very good with responding back to you guys' questions and emails. But in the coming days, I will try my best to respond back to you guys. So be a little bit patient. On that note, have you checked out my online store? If not, I just added some new merchandise. Let's take a look. Also have this amazing earrings on there make sure that you head over to Edith's corner dot shop and use the discount code that I provided down below for a discount don't meet me there beat me there now let's go ahead and get straight to the video here is the latest case processing update from the National Visa Center as of March 28 2022 the National Visa Center informed the public that they are working on cases received from the USCIS on March 16, 2022. They are reviewing documents that you submitted to them on December 38, 2021. And lastly, they are responding to inquiries that you sent them on February 7th. 2022. To conclude, in terms of working on cases received from the USCIS, they are two weeks behind reviewing documents, they are 
four months behind and responding back to your inquiries they are one and a half months behind now let's go ahead and take a look at April's 2022 visa bulletin for family-based categories filing dates we are going to compare March and April's visa bulletin for family-based categories filing dates in the F1 visa category, we can see that Mexico moved one month from April 1st, 2001 to May 1st, 2001. In the F2A visa category, it moved from December 1st, 2021 to being current. So basically, it moved four months. In the F2B visa category, Mexico moved three months from April 1st, 2001 to April 22, 2001. In the F3 visa category, the Philippines advanced to one month from October 1st, 2003 to November 8, 2003. And finally, in the F4 visa category, three countries advance. India advance one month from January 1st, 2006 to February 22, 2006. Mexico advance three months from September 1st, 2002 to December 22, 2000. And the Philippines advance two and a half months from February 1st, 2004 to April 22, 2004. To conclude, we saw movements in all categories. Mexico moved in all categories except in the F3 visa category. The Philippines advanced in both the F3 and F4 visa category. In the F4 visa category, we saw three countries advance, India, the Philippines, and Mexico. The biggest advancement that we saw was in the F2A visa category. They moved four months from December 1st, 2021 to April. 1st 2021 making that category current next let's go ahead and take a look at april's 2022 diversity visa lottery immigrant numbers for Qualified DV 2022 applicants. For Africa, they are on number 50,000, except Egypt, 12,500. Asia, they are on number 17,000, except Iran, 6,100. And Nepal, 4,350. For Europe, they are on number 27,000. North America, including the Bahamas, they are on number 10. Oceania, they are on number 1,200. 
And lastly, for South America and the Caribbean, they are on number 1,300. Important to note that if your priority date has passed or is current, you should have received a welcome letter from the National Visa Center. If you have not, you need to contact them as soon as possible. That welcome letter will have your case number and your reference number, which you will need to log into the SIAC website that are listed down below to start processing your visa application fees and your DS-260 visa application. For the diversity visa lottery, the National Visa Center will not email you. You need to check your case status by going on to dvprogram.state.gov. Once you get there, select check case status to see if you were selected. If you were selected, now is the time to start gathering your documents and complete your DS-260 visa application online. You have until September 30th, 2022 to claim entitlement to your diversity visa. After September 30th, 2022, visas may not be issued to you after this date. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to schedule an appointment with me. Currently, it takes approximately three months to review documents. So if you make a mistakes, that could really set back your case. So schedule an appointment with me as soon as possible. If you have any questions, you can always comment down below and send me an email. I hope this video was beneficial to each one of you. My brothers and sisters, continue to be patient and remember that God is faithful and he will never leave you undone. Before I go, make sure that you subscribe, share this video, give it a thumbs up and turn on your notification bell so you never miss another video from me. Thank you for watching Edith's Corner and I'll see you next time. Bye now.